Hello, Knight here. Welcome to Empire Total War Darth Mod, playing as Great Britain. This is episode number six. Um, those of you who saw episode five will know that we're in war with the Iroquois Nation and we're just about to bring the campaign to an end after I think it's three years, or it might be four years of fighting them. I think it's three years actually. And then we can move on to attack the French or maybe the Cherokee. Yes, We're also going to eliminate the pirates, I think, within the next couple of turns. I think I'd left it that we were actually at the end turn phase. So we can see what France is doing. Wow, they're getting lots of money. Okay. Right, well let's end the turn. See what the AI's got to offer for us. if we won't be at war with the Spanish or the French this turn but it must be fairly soon either they'll attack me or I'll, I'll be in the position where I can attack them ah, there won't be many moves now for the pirates if I can um, get rid of them I have a trade fleet that's on its way to the coast of West Africa, the Ivory Coast. Um, let's move this gentleman down to Oxford, where I'm speed that up, where I'm actually recruiting, uh, where I'm actually researching naval shore facilities, which will help me build a dockyard which will then let me get some of these um, larger ships. Yeah, that'll improve me. Fleet, no end, if I can actually move on in the naval side of things. Uh, my foreign policy at the moment is not to get involved in any wars in Europe. In fact, I'm going to... I'm going to bring back the unit that's over here. I've got one unit here that was actually blocking the attack of the Put Spanish Ready. on the Under Dutch. Sail. So I'm going to move him back into here. Any orders? I don't really want to provoke the Spanish. They may get fed up and actually attack me. Um, the Dutch are doing okay at the moment. They've attacked Antwerp and Ghent. And they actually have two regions in Europe. So the Spanish are not going to be able to eliminate him very quickly. Let's have a look at these information bubbles. Bavaria has been destroyed. Uh, it's been destroyed by the Prussians. <coughs> and a unit's been recruited in the English Channel. That's, that's good. I could really do with another ship bearing actually. But at the moment what I'm going to do is recruit a couple more East India Cavalry here. And then that will be fine. That army will be strong enough to take on um, both the French in Cuttack. And also I'm intending to attack the Maratha Confederacy. I'm allied with the Mughal Empire. I'm going to come down here and see if I can um, do a combined attack with the Mughal troops against the Marathas. I don't think they're allied with anyone that I'm going to be worried about. No, they have no allies at all at the moment, so I can actually attack them. They're a protectorate of Dagestan, so I'm not worried about that. That's one of the countries in the um, Caucasus. So, let's have a look here. Can I build another ship? I don't think I can, actually. I'm already building one more. Um, let's have a look at my navy. 
TV. It's got the Halifax, HMS Princess Royal, HMS Intrepid. Rename that ship. Let's call it the Neptune. Okay. Right, back to North America where all the um, problems are occurring. Let's have a look over here. Right. Let's take this ship out of here. We're going to attack the pirates now, basically. Underway. They're in Trinidad and Tobago. Orders, Captain. And also, they're over here. And they're here as well, Leeward Islands. They've got quite a big fleet here, actually. Quite a strong fleet. And there's a unit in here as well, which is also... Oh, that's a sloop. Right. So, Your let's move some of these units onto the ships. I cannot do that. Yes, my lord. I think I can't Set be a sail. beach there or something. Jump to it and look at it. Sorry, sir. Let's move them out first of all. Troops! Following the fleet! Right, let's move these back in here. Forward. I'll just let these replenish. Forward. It's going to take quite a while for that unit to replenish, but... Um, Yes, your majesty. See if we can reach any of these ports over here. Oh, I'm going to have to avoid that ship. Can I reach the... Yes, I can. Yeah. So let's attack this port. Aye, aye, sir. Right. Let's disembark the troops. Right, that was very painless. Let's repair that. Um, I'm going to destroy this port and build a trade port. So I didn't lose any troops there at all, and I gained. Can't afford to build that. What have we got here? Governor's Mansion which has good repression but you can only build militia so I'm really still using Jamaica and Savannah Georgia Savannah um, as my main recruitment depots right so next go I should be able to attack Antigua That's fine. It's a bit of a worry that this port is now open over here. They may decide to attack. But I'll just have to live with that if they do. Um, so what we have here is four units there. I'm going to... I'm going to attack straight away, I think. So let's see what troops he's got. Right, so it slightly favours me. So we're going to assault them. He's got a couple of Native American lancers who are good. My charge bonus is excellent, but I'll have to get um, make sure that I have my colonial line of infantry who can form square. I put my militia fairly well behind the line. Other than that, it's just a mob, basically. The bowmen, we know how to deal with them. Okay, that's a sword. This will be a fairly close battle, I think, but it is their last territory.
I've renamed some of the units in this army so that they now have um, the name Royal or King's Own or titles like that. It's got a reward for their battles at Niagara and Cayuga. Right, so let's start with the artillery. Try to find somewhere sensible to put them. I suspect he's going to be lined up on this ridge over here, so that's not a bad place to put them. militia together. I'm going to put them just behind the... Um, yeah. So I'll be assaulting with my good troops, the line infantry and the cavalry. All the troops will be assaulting but the militia will be in reserve so maybe I can avoid those lancers. This wing through the woodland, which will cause a bit of problems to my um, units when they start to go through this village, but it will still provide cover. It doesn't have any artillery, so that's that's not a problem. The cavalry, I'm going to put two on this wing and group those together. I'm going to put the King's Own Nassar Dragoons over here. So this is going to be a fairly close battle, I feel, but um, I'm fairly confident. Right. Right, here we go. Let's close on them as soon as possible. It looks as if he's coming towards me, to be honest. Let's move my infantry up through these buildings in the woodland. fear from this army to be honest. The lance are actually coming straight towards my infantry. So I think I'm going to form square fairly quickly. Bowman. Yeah, I 
think the King's own Nassar Dragoons can take those out. Let's take these out of square. Bring them over and attack these armed bowmen. Need to speed up here because so I really want to capture it. I want to capture this city, so Draw here because we've got rather a lot of bowmen. I have to wait for my infantry to catch up to my units. Let's realign the artillery over onto this unit, the musket men. Charge into those musket men. Whoa! Let's withdraw them.
goons are doing a very good job actually. Again, not too many problems, a lot of casualties still, but um, oh, they're coming back, the Lancers, that's good. Let's withdraw, draw them onto me. Let's bring my infantry over. good in a way because I can actually destroy them easier. So what's happening over here? Let's charge in. Charge in. Charge in. So my lads get stuck in. Where are we going over here? Oh, they've escaped. Nearly 200 actually. 400, that's not good. Unit's still there, so it can be rebuilt. But again, another example of how strong the Native Americans are. Right, let's speed things up a bit. See if we can capture these um, shattered. So I may not be able to get to them before they reach the edge of the map. Did by us. I don't think we've lost any units. We need to expensively replenish this army. But we're getting towards the end of the campaign here, so we should have a breather before we have to attack the Cherokee or the French. Right. Okay. Okay, so that's the end of the Cherokee. So the three year, four year war is over. Um, right, yeah, that's eliminated all the units. So once again, I'm going to gift this region to the 13 colonies. That's the Michigan Territory just here. They need any technology? Oh, they've got all of our technology at the moment. That should please him. Now, this is going to be quite expensive, repairing these units. Right. I really would like to just literally march on Montreal, but I need to recoup. Yes, I need to recoup some units. Um, and see how much this is going to cost me. Gosh, 1800 still. Well, we've done as much as we can there to recoup. 
to start. Now we've got an army here now that we can actually move back to Savannah and use that to support the units I've got in Savannah in case the Cherokee attack. Yep, that's what we're going to do. Have I got a ship available? I think I've got a ship that's available down in Jamaica, haven't I? Is he blockaded? Ah, right, so I'm going to have to move by land down to Savannah. It should take a couple of goes. Making camp. Right, and I can't recuperate, replenish any of these troops, but I'll have ten of them once they're re replenished. Fourteen, that's fine. That's the beginning of a nice army to attack the Cherokee. Let's have a look at the information bubbles. Mission territory captured. Yeah. Nation destroyed. Yeah. We're on our way to destroying the pirates, and we've recruited that unit in the English Channel. So, my money is still not brilliant at the moment. Should I have to re replenish the armies next go? And I'll be attacking the last pirate stronghold in the Leeward Islands. And my fleet should arrive with any luck. Okay, let's have a look at the diplomacy. Hanover doesn't like us, I think, because we broke our treaty with them. Let's see if we can get some trade. Well, that's quite staggering, really, considering how the AI has been behaving. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, <coughs> it's quite shocking. Um, I'm surprised. Is there anyone else I can actually trade with? No. Okay. That's fine. Right, my next enemy is probably going to be France. Their allies are Spain, Huron, Wyandot, Poland, Lithuania, and Genoa. Only at war with the United Provinces at the moment. Spain's at war with quite a few countries, so I don't think we've got anything to fear from them. Um, Look at the Cherokees because they were interesting. They were allied with the Dutch. Where are they? Towards the top, aren't they? Let's have a look. They're unfriendly at the moment. <coughs> Excuse me. They're allied with the Dutch, or with the Spanish, the Pueblo Nations, and the Pirates. Well, the Pirates are about to disappear shortly, so. Right, let's call the end of term and see what the AI has to offer us. a bit of a surprise. Um, gosh, Hanover is one of their allies. Portugal as well. Right, well, means we're going to have to attack Spain first. Right, so it's just Spain has attacked us and we've got all our allies on our side. That's good. I would have preferred to have gone to war with France first. But we'll have to see how this works out. At least I can attack some of the, the Spanish colonies around the West Indies now. I've got this army that's going to take out the pirates. So I can use that to attack Hispaniola and Cuba. But I have that... that colony, that Spanish colony, just here, don't I? It's a bit awkward. It's quite a strong army. And also, it's got these as well. Right, let's move these units down here as quickly as possible. Troops, forward! I recruit anything? Let's have a look. The last of my mounted tribal 
And are these up to strength? They're not, are they? Let me... Gosh, 2,000. Well, I've got to do that, because I'm... It's the Spanish who are going to attack me, probably. Right. Let's do that. Okay, let's see what we're doing up here. Let's reunite this army together. With the pikemen. Forward. And we see what we can do here. Not much, I expect. 4,000 required. Well, we haven't got anywhere near that. We'll just see what we can do. Look at the information bubbles. Woodland Preacher. This is the guy who's over here. How's he doing? That's not bad. 17, 70 odd percent. Zero percent in Montreal. We'll keep him here for Without the moment. Index. With all speed. It would be nice to attack the French. Right, okay. <coughs> Let's move on. Fleet arrives. Right. Where to, Captain? This is my trading fleet. Who's actually in this theatre? Denmark, Portugal, France. Oh, I think we found France was here before. And Savoy. Right. So I think they're all in use, actually. Are they one? Two, three, four. Oh no, there must be one that's free. Let's have a look round and see who's actually in the area. On our way, Captain. Any orders? Yes, Captain. Some Portuguese. I'm not at war with Portuguese, I don't think. Let's just check. To make sure who joined and who didn't join the war against me. So I'm only at war with Spain actually, so I got rid of the Iroquois and now I'm at war with Spain, so that's fine. I think I've said before when I've been playing that if you can, it's best to try and only have war with one country at a time. Alright, okay. Let's see how many units the French have got here. Ah! What is that? Sixth rate. Okay, I think I can take that on. Right, he's, the AI is obviously... <laughs> he's obviously just kind of hiding with the French, but I'm not at war with the French, so I can take him out. Let's take him out. Yeah. Yeah, well, I think we should be fine here. I'm going to capture the ship and use it for trade. So we're going to have a naval battle now. I haven't had one for a couple of episodes, I think. The main thing that worries me now is that um, my home fleet isn't very strong in Great Britain. And um, if they manage to blockade a port, I'm going to be in real trouble. So I need to get these ships trading as soon as possible. Right. Okay. Now where is the guy? Over here. Right. I'm going to fast forward to contact as usual. We don't want to see the ship sailing for ages before they reach him. Has no damage actually this ship, so the hulls are quite strong on these ones. I have to be careful. Getting into a bit of a tangle here. Let's have a look. Let's get separated out again. Okay, they should sort themselves out. 
that by the time we actually get into contact with the sixth rate. Right, um, as usual, I'll just try and surround the ship, so, mainly so he can't escape. I'm going to slow down the action slightly, and these fast ships I'm going to anchor at the moment. So the sloops have got away from the rest of my ship, so it's important that all of the ships arrive in the battle at the same time. least damage as possible. There are no ports close by where I can actually refit my ships, so the probably closest one would be in Calcutta, to be honest. So let's see what's going on now, see if we're actually getting... These ships are catching up. Speed things up a bit. and dismast this guy actually. That'll do less damage. But also allows him to fire at me more. So I'd, I'd probably take more damage whilst I'm trying to dismast him. Here come the other ships. Let's slow things down. So we're about to get into contact. Let's start up the sloops. And the Dauntless is the first ship that will be attacking them. Yeah, I'm going to set all of them on auto fire, fire at will, and also round shot at the moment. Yeah, we're going to take a broadside fairly soon, I believe. Swing about. Yeah, so we need to bring this group of ships further round, I believe. to go straight for him. See if I can get something back at him. Yeah, there we go. He's actually got two off to our one though. Although he's at such a distance, I can't believe he's doing much damage. He's killed one man. So that's not going to cause us any problems. Continue. Let's keep going with the guy. 
Let's see if we can get him to surrender. Yeah, excellent. Well done, lads. Nice cup of tea. <clears throat> Let's add him to our fleet. Now, if the French do attack us, what has he got in this theatre? Light galley, a brig, a brig, and a fifth rate. Actually, that's not ship, too ship. too much to worry about. Who's here? Still got Savoy here. Oh, ah, money at last. Yeah, we are nearly three thousand. That's brilliant. Okay, that's excellent. Right, I'm going to look at the next trading theatre. So Spain is, I don't know, five ships? Four ships? Maybe four ships he's got there? So the possibility is that we could attack there. But I'm going to leave it in the Ivory Coast for a while to get some money. It should improve our... yeah, that's better improve our trade. I think the ivory is still quite a... Oh, it's dropped right away. It's probably because I'm supplying more of it. So spices could be a possibility. Right, okay. Um, let's say that's not a problem in this theatre. I can take out those with these ships, I yes, believe. I didn't get much damage to my my ships at all. One gun, three guns. I really damaged the San Francisco the most. I'm going to rename this ship. It's going to become the HMS. Let's have a think. HMS Sea Witch. Let's have a look at some of these bubbles first, see what's going on. Woodland Preacher, we've seen that. Report, yeah, we're going to have a look at India in a moment. That's the fleet we've just fought. Dublin Gazette, first newspaper in Ireland. Right, okay, let's have a look. Hmm, so we've got problems like this now, haven't we? There's an army there. And a navy, I think. No, there's two navies there. Well, it's going to make the next few moves interesting. I feel quite secure here against the... Actually, I'm going to... This will sound odd. I might try to get a alliance with Cherokee because they're actually fighting Spain. Let's see. Let's see what happens. Hmm. Right. They hate us, obviously. Okay, all right, well, it was worth trying. Right, so the situation is, we've got an army here ready to attack the French if they cause any problems to 13 colonies or if they attack us. We have an army here holding Savannah. Um, we're getting more money now. It's got a good army here, actually, to support us as well. Um, we need to do something over here to attack the pirates, which we'll come to that in a minute. We're beginning to trade now, get some money. Oh, it's pretty good actually. Top trade we've got 4929. Um, let's have a look at India. A very good army here now. As a principle, I would tend not to attack. France if you're already at war with someone else. Um, although the war against the Spanish is going to take quite a long time to get to a, a position where I'm going to be able to attack the French. Right, anyway, let's progress and attack pirates. Is that, is that still okay? Let's have a look. Oh dear. Right, let's have a look. Right, so it's only the higher class that are upset. I'm only getting 22 from that because there's no... I'm going to 
Yeah, I'm going to exempt it from cat tax because we, I've destroyed the port that was there. Okay, let's load the army up and we'll try and eliminate the pirates. This turn. Oh, it looks as if they've moved their fleet somewhere actually. Set sail! Yeah, that's odd. Run out the gun! Let's unload our troops and move on to attack the capital. Antigua. Bomb! I don't think he's gonna surrender, as it's his last territory. Yeah, refuse to surrender. Um Again, I don't really want to lose any troops to be honest. I think I'm gonna make them come to me. I'll still be facing about three, six, nine, twelve hundred men. That gives me odds of two to one, which is normally sufficient. I'm gonna siege them. They've only got um, two moves, so he'll probably come out next go. They hide behind right. women's. Right, let's have a look at Britain. Because I'm a little bit worried about. I am this. the instrument of your will. Aha! A place of learning and culture. Okay. Now, where is the Spanish fleet? I don't suddenly need to turn up at my port and destroy all my trade I'm fighting to get. Whoa, that's a bit. It is damaged from the flag, but that's a lot of ships. Is that his only fleet? Let's have a look around. What's that? Oh, it's the Italian states. Um, right, well, I can't do anything, really. I don't know whether I should move out my fleet to try and intercept, or whether just take the hit if he blocks my trade. I'm going to be bankrupt, basically. I will be able to, of course, attack him immediately. I think I'm due, no, I'm actually not due any more ships. How much money have I got? I'll have to build a couple of ships next go. Right, let's move on. Oh dear. That's disappointing. Right, okay, uh, well, there's not much I can do about that. Right, Sweden's refused to join our side, so he's not in alliance with me anymore, I assume. But it could have been worse. His allies could have joined in with him. It looks if like Louisiana hasn't, hasn't attacked us, which will help us. I've just given Michigan to 13 colonies, so I'm at war with the French and the Spanish, which is never good. Not at the same time. We'll have to see how we go on. Let's see what he does. Right, okay, well, nothing. He didn't do anything. Oh dear, here we go. Right. Yeah, well, I don't think so. No. No, he didn't join in in the um, war against the French, did he? So he's obviously trying to avoid the war. He's trading with the French. We're not going. We're going to refuse that kind offer. Yes, I won't live to rue it. I don't think you're in trouble with the um, Danish and the Russians. I believe. Ah, right. Well, I'm going to have to enter the war on the side of my ally. So we're now at war with Louisiana as well. Ah, where's that pirate ship come from? Oh, of course, I haven't destroyed them yet, have I? Right, that's fair enough. Uh, it's the Spanish attacking. That's fine, I don't have a problem with that because I have no port. So I never develop the plantation because I can't trade anything, basically. Um, 
Georgia and I've got the last time I mounted auxiliaries that I can make. Enemy raid, yeah, it's waiting for it. We've got that. Auxiliary capering loon. Oh dear. Okay, alright. Well, it's back in Britain, I assume. Yeah, he's a capering loon. Right, so what have we got here now? What am I Dutch doing? Alright, ah, he's, he's only got... He's true, I haven't got an army in Britain, actually. That's another worry. Okay. Right. First thing to do is consider attacking this colony here, which I shall do. Anything more? Forward! Forward! For crown! That's interesting. Let's see what he's got. Mainly sepoys. A little militia. Oh, he's got 12 pound of that. Not much in the way of cavalry, though. At the ready. Right, it's going to move slightly forwards. Forwards, march. And I'd rather not face his militia immediately, so I'm hopeful I'll be able to um, intercept if he moves anywhere towards my. Yeah, yeah. If he moves towards Calcutta, I'll be able to intercept him. Let's have a look in. There were three ships here, weren't there? Yeah, I think over here was it? France. Okay, right. Um, I'm going to attack them. Yes, Captain. I can move back onto the trading plaque as soon as I've attacked these people. Let the devil take the hindmost. And that's where we're going to leave it. We'll end this episode pending this battle that will be fought the next episode episode 7 so I hope you've enjoyed the this episode and um, you'll continue watching and I uh, hope to be talking to you soon bye for now